Hello, this is a demo of the Fender Jam, which is quite a peculiar amplifier. Uh, 75 watts, this thing is a beast, it may get super super loud, but you can also tame it, so and that's okay. Uh, I'm going to use the low input, um, also I'm going to keep the volume very low. Uh, it's going to be to get very loud when I use the overdrive, but I'll try to normalize that in post-processing. Uh, for now, uh, let's just start with a clean sound. Nice and crisp, usual Fender sound. Um, peculiar thing about this amp, other than the, the rest, is that, for example, instead of having a regular EQ section, you have the instrument clean section, which you can choose between bright, which sounds like this, basically boosts the treble, and the full section, which is like this. To normal, you push the buttons, but not to the to the end. Just enough to release the, the other button. Other than this section, you also have the control control, which basically cuts the the mids, like. This is more noticeable when the overdrive is engaged. But for now, actually, what the hell, let's, let's turn on the heat. I'm going to use the crunch setting because, uh, once again, it's peculiar in which you don't have a gain control. You just have a crunch button and a lead button. If I engage the crunch, sounds like this. You can notice the effect way more. And from a crunch, let's go to lead, which is going to get very, very loud. And that's with the control control. Without it, it's not like this. to a normal level of, of volume and next stop is the the volume which as you can see I keep it very very low because once again this is a loud amplifier and I am in my room so yes <laughs> and for now we are going to basically keep it low then we got the river which is actually an analog spring river that basically is inside this Quite noisy, to be honest. I think that the isolation could be improved, perhaps with a Faraday cage or something like that. But it's a nice river. It's noisy, but it's lovely. Actually, I like the sound a lot. But let's turn it back down and now we are getting into the most interesting part which is the the chorus because this amp has a built-in chorus which is absolutely lovely right now i have it set like this which is right now perhaps more like a tremolo vibrato phaser i don't know the specific word but and you can change the, the rate, for example, get it very fast. Or you 
you can put it very slow and quite subtle. Turn the depth down a bit as well. This is more like your usual chorus. Um, then we have a bunch of outputs that I don't use. I cannot show you in the demo. So I guess that's everything for now. But before we leave, let's engage both the chorus and the lead which is an amazing sound so let me show you turn the volume down <laughs> 